Hey guys, welcome to the White Phil channel. Thanks for coming back. Uh, thanks again to the new subscribers. There are a few. Uh, first up, I would like to say uh, I would like to give a shout out to two fellow YouTubers uh, who I've been looking at their videos and uh, are doing an amazing job. The first one is Bark Phantom, who does not only records but uh, books too. I'll put the links in the description and then um, a new newer person on here is um, All Hell Hell, hello, uh, who does amazing videos, just very stoic but all uh, very good releases and I've had some conversations with her on Facebook so it's always nice to go outside the realm of YouTube. Check those channels out if you're they're mostly into the darker side of music, like uh, she does metal only I guess and he does, he's all over the place, especially with the books. Okay, on to the show because we have a lot of things to do. Um, show, hear me. Uh, on the record player is Kinos, that spell, uh, to celebrate the release of the new one, the Synergy or Synarchy, I'm not sure, of Molten Bones on uh, Sovidia. He is up for pre-order now on vinyl and CD and I suggest you get onto it. Then, let's kick off with the, uh, I have two order packages, I would say, and then some leftover records. Uh, first up is I place an order at Underground Soundscapes. I have a running tab over there because uh, everything he does in his excellence, especially the also Bucklot label. The first two things are um, uh, two releases from Fallen Empire, new tape releases. One is Lux Absentia and the other one I just can't read. It's Akisia, or I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't delved into these tapes, I just tagged them on the order because one is Fallen Empire and two, it's, uh, they always have great releases, so why not? Um, yeah, like I said, Lux Absentia and then the other one, I'm not sure. I'll put them on in the next video, which will be a discography video from a well-known black metal band so you can hear these two there if I don't forget really good releases always from Fallen Empire so why not blind buy them I do it for oh, a few labels now then what I really do blind buy is Rasu Batlat these are the two latest releases uh, Uxum Galu and then Daggerlust both excellent releases Keep saying excellent releases. Need to release that. This is the uh, Rotten Limbs in Dreams of Blood from Uxam Galu. Uskum Galu. The titles of these bands are getting out of hand. I think the normal names are. That's weird. One side is. 33 and one side is 45. Okay, so now that we corrected that, this is the Uskungado. Uh, very chaotic, uh, I would say jangly black metal, but jangly sounds so negative. It's, it's very loose in structure. That's how, how it appears to me. It's very chaotic. It's very fast pushed, driven black metal, but it's so awesome. Um, then the Daggerlust tape, I loved their previous release. Um, so this one is on par or just as good. Black Daggerlust silver printing on there. And then the J card for this one is um, a little bigger. Three piece band. I almost wish this was, uh, this was on vinyl because the artwork really looks cool. They're starting into vinyl, they have that tri triumphum, triumphum foul, I'm not sure I should pronounce that one, trivium foul, I'm not sure. So yeah, maybe there will be vinyl releases. Then, I got a shirt, he's not, uh, George from Underground is not really pushing the shirts because he said they're too expensive, but he got the Uxum Galu. I was looking for the Dagger last one, but that's sold out. So yeah. Shirts, good quality, gold and soft. So check it out. They have that Trivium Powell still um, still up for sale. And then, last but not least, he gave me these two in for free. The logo patch and then the TF patch. So yeah, that was that. 
I have to do it quicker because I did this video already and then I fucked up and it was too long, blah, blah, blah. So, a little less information just to get it all on here. Um, then this order is uh, all Terratour, but this is from Prag Detmes. I didn't go because I didn't get off work and there was a lot going on with our label, so... I know, excuses, but maybe next time. I uh, had a friend of mine, let's call him JV. He, um, he let me place an order and he got every, almost everything I wanted. So um, this is the first thing from Fallen Empire. This is the BDM or uh, Death Mess number three. And uh, this is a promo tape from that label. Just a black tape on both sides. And it's quite a cool tape because um, it has nice little artwork. But it has a lot of the labels killer on here. And especially the first track on the first side is Yuvia with Enigma. And if I'm not mistaken, that is the new track off of the upcoming album. So yeah, that was definitely a must-have for me. Then, two 7-inches. First one is the Ghoul Faust 7-inch. Uh, I got this especially for the Ghoul uh, Faust because I'm not too familiar with the Ghoul Cults. But that will change rapidly, I guess. It seems that Ghoul Cult is a, I would say, one-man project, because there are two of Faust dudes and then the other guy. One track from Freien Tode from Faust and then To the Tombs from Ghoul Cult. A nice little split. Sturdy inserts. And then these are all the color editions that were sold at Pag Deadmess and that are mostly sold out, I think. But the regulars are popping up in distros and of course on Terratour. This is a nice white 7 inch gin worship on the uh, artwork. So that's the first 7 inch, and they had like, I think, 6 new releases. I didn't get that re-release project at Volcanis or something like that. I'm not sure. This is uh, the one I was really looking forward to from the 7 inches. This is the Darvaza. Uh, with the Silver Chalice. Their new 7 inch. I was, um, their mini album that came out last year really... really did something for me. It was a cool release. This is on par. Or maybe better as that one in my opinion. But. Um, like I said, it just came in, so I have yet to uh, listen through it completely. This is on silver. Nice little center pieces there. And then the artwork, yeah, it's kind of the same as the last time. This kind of reminds me of the Sword Ligia, or the Mare, or, you know, Skull Camels. I'd like to see a band that breaks loose from the iconography, but it's so close to the music that I think it's hard to let go sometimes. Two great releases, and then two uh, 12 inches. The first one is one that I was looking forward to coming out because they dropped the track on the SoundCloud. This is the Wardham Rife. Uh, the Worship of Idols Instead of God, Idolatry is the full title. It is a gatefold. One record gate holes. There's the back. And it has all the red, this nice spot gloss varnish. I don't know if that shows up. Then in contrast, a very colorful Dürer etch that is colored in by someone, I guess, because Dürer is always black and white. Talking about letting artwork rest, Dürer and Doré, that's the most overused, I think, in uh, the entirety of metal. There is a giant poster which depicts the inside of the gay fault, just a replica. Before the world goes headlong, no man, um, no man will have mercy on another. Very positive message, messaging, but it's true, I guess. And this is the once again colored version. Reds, nice center labels, really great releases of course, again from Teratur. 
they keep spitting out records and you would say there was a... You would expect the production value or the quality to go down, but um, no such thing for now. And this is another label I do blind buys like this one, Fallen Empire, Hustle Bob Lots, uh, Tech to some degree. Warden Rife, one man project from Norway. And then the really big prize was this one, the VMOD thing. And excuse my Norsk, but this is Ventich Pach Stormene, I think. This was a tape and CD only release, I think, from uh, Teratur. No idea why it took so long to get this record out, but um, this is a very beautiful black metal record. It, um, in the last video I had uh, quite the analogy going with the artwork, I will surmise it. It's The sound is like this compared with this, you have the darkness of foresty landscapes, whatever, and then that beautiful light coming in. So there's a lot of melody in this record. Uh, it's not just straightforward killer. Nice territory logo here. The other one, the eye in the triangle. And yeah, all Norsk titles printed in gold. Really beautiful release. There is a printed inner sleeve with a with glossy pictures. And this is to keep the theme going, a nice gold record. Kind of light, kind of see through, but not really. But really. So yeah, this is the demo. And I was looking for the tape for a long time because I really love the record, but um, to pay 40 40 dollars for a tape or 50 dollars in some cases, I um, glad I waited for this record. There is, to complete the package, a poster, once again, that duality in lights and dark. And there is a lyric booklet, which also comes with it. And it's nice, it's fully realized releases, lyrics in Norsk, Norwegian, some pictures, and then the lyrics in English, with the Vimot logo. The Vimodian Society. Very cool release. Very glad to have this one. And like I said, don't wait for gold because it will almost certainly go up in price. So just get whichever one you can. I'm sorry. Those were the two. Thanks again, JV, uh, for picking those up from me and transporting them back to Belgium. Then there was a show. Uh, in my hometown, and these two bands, they play four bands, but I just went for these two, Spirit Cabinet and Fox. Fox is a Belgian band, for those who are following the channel for a while, I um, I showed the tape, the demo tape, which had this track, the a whole of Reason on it, and then some others. This is a re-release of that, plus The Claw of Kalu, and this is on New Era Productions. Um, really cool, it's, they call it black metal, but there are so many styles that it is a bit black metal, but it's more of a stomping, heavy black metal, just on black. And um, the guy told me, I had a conversation with the drummer and the singer, and they told me that they were working on a full length. So, you know, looking forward to that one. If they can keep the quality like this, then um, that should be something to behold. That's track one of the records. Flip it over. And this should be on 45 then. Because I made a mistake in the first video to uh, put it on backwards. Then, Istero Epileptic Possessed from the Spirit Cabinet. This is a band compiled of uh, a lot of bands member band members from um, Van Records and this is for example the singer of Urfaust but then this other band. A few tracks on here. This is on Van Records. There is oh, a sticker with a guy sniffing something. 
a drink, printed in our sleeves with the band, some seagulls, and this is on plain black with that same guy. It is uh, a little less trans-inducing, it's a lot less trans-inducing and repetitive as wood pulse. This is more, uh, more on the rock side of things than on that um, nothing, uh, nothing black metal. So yeah, Spirit Cabinet, check them out. Uh, then, three more. Let's finish up the record vexes me. Let's uh, finish up the black metal related stuff. This is the Vestiges Panopticon split. I got this at the Cocaine Release Show, Cocaine Piss Release Show we did Friday. Uh, from a distro, I'm blanking on the name right now. Good guy. But I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this is a split record on Replenish Records and the Flans and this is the Replenish Records version. I'm not too keen, I'm not too familiar with Vestiges, so I'm uh, not sure what that's about. But Panopticon has a lot of great records that are way too pricey to all get by Kentucky and blanking on some of the titles, but really great black metal, um, folky, Americana influenced. So check it out if you're that very nature worshipping. And this is the blue and black splatter version of this record. Um, he got this for 13 bucks, so that was kind of a steal because I'm not seeing it under 20 online. So yeah, looking forward to spinning this. Um, then two more. Really bummed first take of this video was ruined because um, it was a good one. I will do that. This is the Hog Naval 12 inch from the Black Heart Rebellion, the re release on uh, is it Vendetta. It was originally published through Adagio 830 and Smoke and Dust, and now it's just uh, yeah, it's again the two labels, but um, it's on this off message, their record label. Re-released, reimagined the artwork. The first artwork was more like this, scenes in the forest, but then with a dead fox hanging, which I hated. Love the artwork, hated the dead fox. This is just on black, and there is a silver or a gray colored version of this record. Um, I didn't get it the first time around because I wasn't into the sound at that point, but with the new one, I uh, wanted to delve into this one to see if it's a little bit more to my taste. And then the last one, this is Dead Grips, the bottomless bit. Um, I already got the tape, but we had to wait a long time for this to come in, so still glad it's here. Really minimal artwork in the front and in the gatefold, and then some colorful in the back. Very shallow listening, perhaps. This is on Harvest Records, this is just the black vinyl version. Uh, the yellow was sold out immediately. And uh, like with any Dead Grips records, once the limiteds are gone, you have to pay a lot of money. Still looking for the government place with the uh, license plate, and that's like 200, 300 bucks, so new. Um, this is a great record from Dead Grips, I really love it. There are. I was first just into the, the first track, giving bad people good ideas, just kept spinning over and over. But um, once you delve into it, I think it's a really good record. So yeah, Dead Grips. Um, that was it for now. Uh, a lot of stuff coming in, some humble brags maybe. I have that Death by Omega stuff from Sacred Bones, stuff from Trill Jockey, stuff from all over the place. So yeah, there will be a video soon. The next video will be a discography from, like I said, well-known black metal bands. We got inspired through a trade I did. And then last but not least, go check All Hell Hell, the channel, and that Bog Phantom dude. And while you're at it, check out Eric Bauer again, because he is killing it lately. Guys, thank you very much, and hope to see you again in the next installment. See ya.